let's talk about mm-hmm and Stream Deck. Now, I use mm-hmm to get a superpower, and the superpower it gives me on calls is that I have lots of content and I can switch between it seamlessly. Video, slides, all sorts of things. I never know what I'm gonna need on the next call, and it's all there. This truly is a superpower if you do a lot of presentations and you never know what the customer is gonna ask. But I want every call to have really good sound and picture. And so after a while, I started thinking about hardware. And the first thing I did was to acquire some lights. Uh, I got three and then I got a better microphone. Now I still need to be able to listen to the call on my AirPods and suddenly just switching all of this stuff on and off was an awful lot of key clicks between for, for every single call. And so I wondered if I could use a Stream Deck to automate this, and, and I can, it works really well. And then recently I added a Stream Deck pedal, uh, and this allows me to go to the next slide, previous slide, or mute my microphone without having to use my hands, which is great, because I like to wave my hands around a lot during calls. Now all of this stuff fits in my office really neatly. It doesn't take up a lot of space, it isn't hard to set up, uh, and once it's set up it works really well. My Stream Deck profile looks like this. I have a couple of buttons for operating the lights. Now I could do it with one button, but the way I use my three lights is that one reflects off the wall, this provides a bit of fill for my face, and then the other two illuminate the green screen behind me. This works really well for me in this setting. The next thing I want to do is follow my lights, camera, action, startup sequence. So at the beginning of a call, I turn on the lights, I launch them, hmm, which is the camera, and then I launch the application I use for Google Meet. I've just saved a bookmark and that kind of turns it into a little application that I can launch separately. So my call is separate from all my other tabs. The next thing I need to do is make certain my AirPods are connected. And I have a, an external piece of software for that. And what it does is it connects them and then it switches over to the external mic. It's called Ears. It's a really good little piece of software. When I'm on a call, I often want to mute either the camera or the mic or both. And so I have some quick buttons for this. And the trick here is that these bring that Google Meet bookmark kind of application thing to the front uh, and do it instantly. So I don't have to go hunting around in a tab to press the mute button. I just press the button on the stream deck. It works every time. And then the last thing I have is a button for ending the calls. And what this does is it shuts down the lights, it quits some hmm, and it quits the Google Meet app. So it's a single button press to turn everything off again. This saves me a ton of time. And I'll be honest, I kind of like it anyway. I just enjoy having buttons that do exactly what I want. So the cool thing about Stream Deck is you can customize it to do just the things exactly the way you want them, no matter how weird. If there's one particular way you want to do things, you can make a button for it. I love that. So I get superpowers from mm hmm, but what Stream Deck does is multiply them. It means I can use them instantly at any time. And for me, in my daily life of making calls, that really is an even bigger superpower.